All new at six, diving deeper into Arizona's graduation rates. Last night, ABC 15 data analyst Garrett Archer reported on the state having among the lowest high school graduation rates in the country. Tonight, a closer look at those rates among all ethnicities. One in four Arizona high schoolers don't graduate. When I was analyzing that data on Wednesday, something else popped up, and it has to do with graduation rates by ethnicity, particularly Hispanic students. Arizona has not made any progress on graduation rates in the past decade, but some de uh, census-designated ethnicities are doing better than others. Graduation rates for Asians and for Native Americans are improving, but they are bookends, with Asians leading all other groups and Native Americans trailing. White and Hispanic student grad rates have fallen a few points and African American student graduation rates are down four points. But we're going to focus on the demographic with the most graduates in Arizona, and that's Hispanics. At the end of 2021, they made up 43% of graduates compared to 42% for white students. There are three counties in particular where Hispanic students are the absolute majority of graduates, Santa Cruz, Yuma, and Pima. And look at this difference. Hispanics make up 97% of graduates in Santa Cruz, and their four-year grad rate exceeds that of white students by eight points. Both are about even in Yuma, but in Pima, white high school student graduates are at a rate, they graduate at a rate of nine points higher than Hispanics. So it's not the case that white student gra graduation rates are consistently higher than Hispanics. So we wanted to look more into this gap in Pima County, and what we found is surprising. In district schools, graduation rates between whites and Hispanics are for the most part the same, no, ma no matter what letter grade is assigned to the school. But it's a completely different story in the county's charter schools. A massive 30-point gap between white and Hispanic graduation rates in a in A-rated charters, 99 to 70. We also found that B-rated charter schools have a much lower graduation rate overall for both. With a look inside the numbers, I'm Garrett Archer, ABC 15, Arizona.